Hey everybody, it's Apollo Pelican back with some more Pokemon. Uh, it's a gold ROM hack known as Pokemon Prism. Uh, featuring, actually, one of my <laughs> favorite Pokemon, actually, which is Larvitar. I remember back whenever I was playing uh, Gold Version, I really liked uh, Larvitar. Anyway, last time uh, we were we left off. We we're here at Caper City, and uh, we went a little ways north. Found out there's actually at least up to Gen uh, Generation Three Pokemon in the grass. So uh, starting to get a little glitchy. Got Olga. And anyway, we'll kind of speed, hyper speed through these random encounters. We don't want to run from them because we want experience. Uh, well, I don't know. Um, this is pretty good game so far, really. I mean. I haven't seen any too too much of the dynamics of you know I haven't fought any trainers or anything uh, <laughs> that I can remember. Um, at 69 was that what was in here? I don't believe I have any more Pokemon, do I? No. Do I have any Pokeballs? I do not. Oh well. <laughs> cool music. Cool music. Um. Apparently, there seems to be no Pokemon in this cave. What? Um. Cool. Uh, I guess it's supposed to be like kind of like a platformer. This is really cool, actually. Um, yeah, I could do this. I could play this game. Guard, hello. I can't let you through without a rehon pass. Come back when you have one. Rehon pass required. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I went all this way. Let's see. I just hyper speed through this. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't know. Um, I haven't played any of this game since the last video. Oh, who's this? Sorry, there's criminal activity past this point, and I'm not allowed to let you through. Say what? You're Lance's kid? Impressive. My name is Bob. You don't know where you are. You are in the nation, the <laughs> region of Nalho. Or Naljo. I'm gonna guess Nalho, because things is like Spanish words. Anyway. It was a peaceful place with crime rates and general grumpiness <laughs> rising for some reason. Perhaps you can stop that criminal with your team. You only have one? Well, uh, take this. It'll help you if you get lost. Finally, a map. That's very useful. Especially since I've never been here before. Okay, get out of my way. Okay, what do we have here? Oh. Team Rocket music? Why are they using that? Is this a really old Team Rocket member? Nope, just a normal hiker. Named Brian, and I'm just a black silhouette for some reason. <laughs> it's a blacked out silhouette. Don't know how I'm gonna do against this level 3 centric. Huh. Fro tree. Fro trees can be cut. Okay, that's good to know. What is this? <laughs> Somebody's here. Help! Hey, Professor Oak, I'm just relaxing in this. Thing pops in and is slowly killing my Pokemon. How could someone torture young defenseless Pokemon? There's only one left. Please save it. Also, your Pokemon may need this. I got a potion. Well, that's helpful. Please hurry, go. I have no idea, but it's not letting me move myself. Ah, this is silver, I think. Um, so 
Okay, he's forcing somebody else's Pokemon to fight for him. Oh, wow. That's unfortunate for me. Dragon type? Definitely want to heal up. Pound. Smack that thing around the face. Oh, rage! We gotta hurry up and finish this thing off before it gets a combo going. I don't think you have to wear, worry about it, really. So far, it is just doing two HP worth of damage. Ha! Ah. Three question marks. Was defeated. Taking this Pokemon with me. Cross me again and I'll cut you up good. <laughs> he just flies away. I love the uh, escape ropes animation in the old games. Yeah, his name is question mark, question mark, question mark. Not really. I used to think that when I was a kid, back when I had gold version for the Game Boy Color, it would do that. Um, you know, it'd say question mark, question mark, question mark for his name, because you're supposed to name him once you talk to the police, and I always thought that was actually his name uh, for like the first couple times I played through it. <laughs> Which is embarrassing. <laughs> what is his name? Uh... Stewart. Don't ask me, I'm just putting random names. Please talk to my brother, Professor Ilk. Perhaps he could help. I doubt it, because... For some reason, nobody seems to let me into their places. Um... I just found an A Pokeball. Okay, maybe once I go back... This way... Yeah, once I go this way, maybe the places will be unblocked. Maybe I can catch me... Another Pokemon. I don't think I want a Pidgey, actually. Or a Sentret. See, what should this Pokemon be? If I can find it, I know exactly what I want. I think my time would more wisely be spent searching for the Pokemon I want. Um, I'm sorry, I'm sure super speeding, that, the noise it makes gets frustrating after listening to it for a while, but I don't want to sit here. Anyway, I just wish I had something more to talk about while I was, um, looking for this Pokemon. No, it was here, I saw it. Maybe it was more this way, no? Couldn't have been. Let me search for just a little bit longer. Do a couple more random encounters. I still can't find it. I'll just have to get on with it, I guess. It doesn't seem like it's gonna matter. I'm not gonna be able to find it. Come on. Come on. Anyway, I basically just spoiled the whole thing. Let's try to find another Shinx again. Maybe saying Shinx will somehow make it spawn one, but I kind of doubt that. Um, I don't think this game works that way, actually. <laughs> like, that makes sense. Anyway, it's kind of rambling, you know. It's a good thing to do in this situation. So, uh, anybody played Pokemon Conquest? Um... I have it, and it's alright. It just gets repetitive. Uh, it'd be much better if they used... You know, you had more options as far as... You know... I have a feeling I didn't get a Pokeball. Did I? Huh, I thought I grabbed a Pokeball. Is that not what that was? Was it another potion? Am I really that dumb? I don't know. I have to rewatch the tape. 
Anyway, Pokemon Conquest is alright, it's just, the only problem, oh cool these guys are out of the way, that guy's not, but this person was out of the way. But uh, the problem with it is that you can only get one move for Pokemon that only changes once it, the Pokemon evolves and then they're stuck with that one. So it gets kind of old. Ilk. Like, hi, let me see the Pokemon you used for victory, please. La Lavalritar. What? What in the world? It likes you beta. Better than me, foe. For some reason, so like, take it with ya. I get guzz. Since you're asleep. Okay. That's how it's painful to read that. That was pretty bad. Um. Is this supposed to be like Jar Jar Beans? Beat the trainers and become the best. No, I can't do a Jar Jar Beans voice. Cool beans. You awesome dude. Come again, please. Thanks. Okay. That guy's a little weird. A little eccentric. This guy that's blocking my way earlier. You kind of a jerk. No, it's not this guy. Oh yeah. Now I can for sure buy some Pokeballs. Right? Yes. Give me five. Take one escape rope. You always have to have a backup escape rope. I already have a potion or two. I'll just get a couple more. Now I'm out of here. I didn't see what's above here. Um. Cool. Another route. It means more Pokemon. Spiro. I'll take it. Spiros are better than Pidgeys, in my opinion. Um. Don't know if that's really fact, but I, I, you know, you know, you gotta press your B and hold down and press A on each of the shakes. Those little codes, those, those always work. You know, actually, not really. It doesn't work at all. Uh, I wonder who started those. Because uh, I remember whenever. You know, trying that when I was a kid. It's just a rumor I heard. You know, kids say on the playground. And, uh, of course I tried it. But, like, even after I would miss catching a Pokemon, like, of course you're gonna miss some since the, the trick doesn't actually work. So... You know, I don't know how I didn't catch on, because I still missed a lot of my catches. Um, I seriously, who thought that? Um, I don't know. We're going to catch a Pokemon this episode, I'm serious. If I run out of Pokeballs on a Spearow, I'm going to get some more and try again. <laughs> but no, um, I'm going to catch one of these, one Pokemon before the video is over. There you go, finally. Wow, um... It flaps its short wings to flush out insects from tall grass. It then plucks them with its stubby beak. Of course we're gonna give it a name. What's a good name for Spiro? Hmm... Perry. Yeah, Perry. That's a good name. Like, uh, Dr. Cox from... Scrubs, yeah. This, oh yeah, I forget this is supposed to be snow and not just black and blue or whatever. And there's two Pokeballs, so that kind of makes up, right? Alright, so I guess that's it, it for this episode. We'll keep venturing eastward with Olga and Perry. And, uh... Yeah, so... If you like this, rate, comment, subscribe, just uh, let us know, let me know what, what, what you like, if you like the video, or tell me, uh, cause this one isn't a complete ROM hack, I believe it goes to four gems long, I think is the last one, 
Um, so yeah, so you can go ahead and start leaving requests for other Pokemon ROM hacks. Make sure you also go and look into my other videos, like my uh, Zoo Tycoon Freestyle Zoo, or the Scenario Zoos, or even Commodore Cody's own series he's got going right now, the Pokemon Quartz uh, ROM hack. Alright, well this all I have for this episode, so uh, come back again, we'll see you next time.